The last few months, we've reported repeatedly how Woodbury County's new jail project is $1.8 million over budget and is seven months behind schedule. But who officials hold responsible for that delay is now coming into sharper focus. KTIV is digging deeper after speaking with Mark Nelson, a Woodbury County supervisor and a member of the three person board overseeing the project. While officials have not yet filed any legal claims, he says the project's general contractor and architect deserve the lion's share of blame. Here's KTIV's Matt Hoffman. A lack of properly installed fire dampers sent Woodbury County's jail project over budget and over its original timeline. While the number one priority for the LEC authority remains finishing the project, authority member Mark Nelson says Goldberg Group Architects and the project's general contractor, Housing and Construction, deserve the lion's share of the blame. We're in constant communication with the architects and, and they recognize that it was that those uh, dampeners were missed off the drawings and so um, they understand that culpability and we're working through it with there and and but we also know that there is concurrent delays that uh, that there are other things in the in the jail that aren't finished that are unrelated to the dampeners. Those concurrent delays have only been discussed more recently. On September 12, 2023, the authority announced the project would be delayed with almost all of the discussion focused on the fire dampers and security bars on some ductwork. Then on October 10th, 2023, a spokesperson for the construction management company said an elevator control room was not properly installed. So the concurrent delays, there, there are other parts of the, of the jail that are still under construction that have nothing to do with the fire dampers. According to documents we obtained through an open records request to the Sioux City Inspector and Fire Marshal, other issues were discovered during an inspection in June of 2023. Those documents show the inspector disapproved inspections for an electrical permit after grounding wires for data rooms were not installed. The inspector also marked disapproved after an eyewash slash shower issue was raised. Finally, during an inspection, the inspector disapproved after an exhaust vent was not installed. So far, the only new proposed opening date for the complex is in April of 2024. That was proposed by the general contractor. The authority disagrees with that opening date, but they haven't yet proposed one of their own. In Sioux City, Matt Offman, KTIV News 4. Nelson also defended the authority's decision to extend the contract of the Baker Group, the construction management company. That's despite delays and conflict of interest concerns. Todd Wick, the son of the LEC Authority Chairman Ron Wick, is the on-site manager of the project. Nelson says he's asked Ron Wick to recuse himself from any future votes on the Baker Group's contract. According to Nelson, the LEC Authority had no control over the company's decision to hire Todd Wick, and his job performance has been fantastic. Now, we asked the LEC Authority for a copy of its conflict of interest policy, but a lawyer for the authority says the group doesn't have one though its members do follow state law when it comes to conflict. Also, Houseman Construction, the general contractor, declined an on-camera interview for the story, but did provide us a statement. You can read that full statement on our website at KTIV.com.